formidable robot. The Giggling Jester was a YouTube channel run by a 17-year-old named Eric Carmichael. The channel was one where they would narrate and critique online horror stories, active from 2010 to 2013. They were mostly unscripted unedited videos that simply displayed Eric reading the story in his bedroom with the lights off. Eric was mostly known for his abrasive and vulgar nature whenever he would read stories he found exceptionally bad. He read all the terrible stories you'd expect. Red Mist, Tales Doll, The Works. And for the most part, it was your typical creepypasta review channel. During July of 2013, Eric had read a story which itself is now lost media. From the limited info known about the story he had narrated, it was about a girl named Magnolia who was taken advantage of and then murdered by her father. Eric was particularly angered by the story's poor treatment of the subject matter, leading to him refusing to finish the story, and having the following reaction. And then, that's when Daddy started to... T no, no, just... I'm not reading that! You know what? I'm not even gonna read the rest of the story! Because I can see it on my screen and, quite frankly, I feel fucking disgusting just trying to read that out loud. So I'm not even going to tr just... If you want to see the rest of the story, go find it yourself, okay? Because I am not going to get the author the satisfaction of me just going, Oh, that's, that's disgusting. Poor, 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 poor girl. No, 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 fuck that. Final rating is 0 out of 10. I am not going to narrate the rest of the story, so don't even ask. I'm not even going to read the rest of it on my own time. Just fuck this story and fuck whoever wrote it. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is the Giggling Jester, and I need a fucking bath. Jesus Christ. After publishing this video, strange events had began to occur in Eric's life. A common request for Eric had been a story called Blood Whistle. However, Eric had stated there were two reasons he wouldn't narrate it. One, it was too lengthy of a story for him to cover, and two, when he attempted to read the story, he heard something behind him. He had claimed he heard someone whispering, and said something among the lines of disgrace or dismay. Regular aphid fire. Flesh, eyes, and other internal organs. And... What the? <laughs> what the fuck was that? You guys heard that, right? I swear. I fucking heard something. The next of Eric's bizarre experiences were posted on Eric's Facebook account. He had started seeing tiny handprints around his home. The first time, it was on the back door that led into the sunroom. The second, it was right above his head, where it would be lying as he slept in bed. Something to note about the handprints is how they have four fingers and seemingly no thumbs. He had purportedly told his parents about the handprints, and even physically showed them, yet they simply thought the handprints belonged to him. During Eric's narration and review of Mr. Mix, viewers noticed something in the background, inside of a toy box in Eric's room. What appeared to be a head with loose stringy hair, and a hand with long rotten fingers slowly emerged from the plastic box before quickly retreating back inside during the last 10 seconds of the video. Eric had claimed he heard something after he finished recording, yet found nothing inside of the toy box. As a matter of fact, he didn't even notice the figure until he rewatched it for himself. In October of 2013, Eric would publish his final video as the Giggling Jester. Eric had been reduced to a traumatized nervous wreck, and begging forgiveness from Magnolia. His eyes darted across his room, as though he were expecting to see something there waiting for him.
After this, Eric's channel would be deleted, yet his Facebook remained up. Suddenly, Eric's Facebook account had made a new post. The caption was simply, cries on deaf ears, the jester is dead, silence is compliance. His account was finally deleted mere hours after this post was made. Here is a censored version of the image. The uncensored version will not be made public.